Hello, guys. Uh, we're going to hear a Lewis Hamilton audio interview. Finally, the first interview since he's been in the testing. And he's, he's reacting about this coronavirus, too. It's very... It's, it's a serious. He's going to react in that part, too. But Lewis Hamilton, very long interview, like 6 minutes and 40 seconds. It's a long interview with uh, Lewis Hamilton. So stay tuned and listen to it. Let's see what... You will, you will know what exactly he's talking about it. Thank you. I think we found that we've got plenty of problems that uh, we're trying to iron out, and there's no, um, it's, I don't know how long they will take to, to iron out, but that's never a bad thing necessarily to to um, to discover discover them through testing. And um, but otherwise, I think our performance has been well, uh, good in the sense of the amount of laps we've got, the mileage, otherwise apart from yesterday and um, the actual process and the, th the things that were discovered along the way. So I have no idea where we stand compared to others. I've not been, the team probably will have a better idea of that, but uh, yeah. Confident? <laughs> uh, it's no relief, because as I said, I don't know where everyone else is. Um, I mean, I think I understand the car well, so I'm, I'm um, comfortable and confident in terms of uh, getting in the car into, in Melbourne and knowing that I'll be able to attack and extra, extract the most from it. But whether that's going to be enough to be ahead of others, we'll find out. Just in terms of the start of the season, Lewis, Chase Carey today saying he's spoken to the promoters of the first three races and they, they're confident the races are on. But are you a bit like the rest of us, watching the news about Corona and maybe, maybe slightly doubting whether one of those races might happen? Uh, I've not really put a lot of thought as to whether, the, I mean, ultimately the FIA and the organisers with F F1 decide where we go to race. Um, naturally, I've been watching the news every day, so it's obviously concerning to see how it's continues, it's continuing to spread and doesn't look like it's going to stop spreading anytime soon. So um, I, I hope that, that those that have it uh, recover and I hope that everyone takes you know people need to take it seriously you know everyone's shaking hands everyone's hugging and it's actually it's, it's all around us you don't even know and so um, and even traveling is going to be potentially difficult so um, yeah I think you just have to take all the precautions you can and uh, I think the government's probably need to um, they're probably doing what, all they can but I'm sure they can do more um, to try and contain it but um, yeah Quick word about Das. Uh, Valtteri said yesterday, uh, yeah, he's, he's getting a good grip on it. Do you now know whether it's something you use quite a lot at a lot of tracks or whether it will be a, a kind of marginal device for only occasional use? Um, I don't know. I hope it's going to make a huge difference, hopefully. Luis, do you think there is concern, concern in the team about reliability issues that Mercedes uh, engines uh, have had in these uh, days? Uh, Is there a concern? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, normally we would end this pre-season testing with a bit a much more confidence in in the reliability, so it's not been perfect for us. I think we're on a third engine already, so or second, second or third engine, so um, it's definitely not an easy or relaxed scenario for us, but I have every confidence in the guys back at the factory that uh, they will analyze and do the best they can in these next two weeks to try and make sure we start off on the, again on the right foot. Um, Ferrari has been uh, downplaying their chances, both Matia, the drivers. Do you buy that? I mean, I'm not really. I don't, I don't pay any attention to anybody else at this, this is a, the, uh, through testing. We literally just focus on our job, and I have no idea what other people have been saying. And, and um, I'm, of course, I've been here a long, long time, so I'm, I'm aware of people bigging us up and, you know, um, talking themselves down so that they can overachieve into, you know, potentially overachieve um, unexpectedly or, or whatever. So um, it doesn't make no difference. People, they think, they seem to think, you know, some people think that it's a psychological battle, but it's really not. <laughs> Only for the weak-minded, maybe, but for us, we it doesn't affect us whatsoever. So. Lewis. Uh you already told us that you don't care about Michael's numbers, but uh, to take a look to your numbers in these last six years is something very impressive. Uh, and it seemed unreasonable for any driver to do so by back then, when, when, when he thought about the future. Uh, do you think uh, this 
will continue and this puts a target on your back uh, talking about the other drivers that prepare themselves to get into a season I've had a target you know, if if I was to look at it that way I've had a target on my back since the day I won my first championship when I was 10 years old so it's nothing new to me um, I've always been the only black driver there I've always been generally at the front um, of, of championships so it's no different to any of the 27 years of driving so I'm quite comfortable in that space and um, it's also um, it, it's al almost um, what's the word when you um, it's a positive when people are targeting you and um, looking to try and beat you because you want everyone to be on their best perf their, their best um, on bring their A game so when if you do manage to pull it off and you do f finish ahead, it feels even better. If you look back, would you think it was reasonable to win so much in that span of time? De uh, definitely not. I think I never really knew. Ultimately, I always kind of believed that kind of the sky's not really the limit. And um, but I never really knew exactly what we would what we would achieve. When I joined this team, I believe we would be winning at some stage. Um, did I think we would win as much as we have? Absolutely not. But um, I don't feel like it's a coincidence that we uh, that we have won as much as we have, because it's just uh, the, the whole organisation, the whole team, every absolutely every individual.